Welcome to a new episode from English Plus Podcast. Today's episode is very special for sports fans, especially baseball fans, because it's going to be about Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth, the legendary baseball player. We will talk about him in this episode. So now, without further ado, let's talk about this legendary baseball player, Babe Ruth. Baseball fan called him Babe, the Bambino. and the Sultan of Swat. He set home run records that lasted for decades. His full name was George Herman Ruth, and he became one of the greatest heroes in American sports. Babe Ruth led the Boston Red Sox to three World Series championships. Then he helped make the New York Yankees the most successful major league team of his time. Ruth overcame a troubled childhood to achieve baseball glory. He was born in Baltimore, Maryland in 1895. The young Ruth fell in with a rough crowd on the streets of the city's waterfront. When he was seven, he was sent to live in an orphanage and reform school. While there, a Roman Catholic priest taught Ruth to play baseball. Young Ruth showed great promise as an all-around player. At the reform school, he played first base, third base, and the outfield when needed. He eventually became a catcher. One day during practice, Ruth took the pitching mound. Ruth had never pitched before, but he amazed onlookers with his powerful sidearm throwing style. Most of all, Ruth was a natural hitter, easily swatting balls from his first time at bat. At the age of 19, Ruth signed a contract with the Baltimore Orioles, then a minor league team. The owner, Jack Dunn, took the young ball player under his wing. People soon began calling Ruth Dunn's baby. Eventually, they just started calling him Babe. It was a sign of things to come when Babe hit a home run in his first professional at-bat. Baltimore sold Ruth's contract to the Boston Red Sox, and he made his major league debut in 1914. Although Ruth was signed as a pitcher, the Red Sox also used him as an outfielder. That way, he could play more games and get to bat more times. In 1919, Ruth led the major leagues with 29 home runs. No player had ever hit that many in a single season. As a home run hitter, Ruth was just getting started. He was traded to the New York Yankees in 1920, and he hit 54 homers that year. The following year, he hit 59, and in 1927, he hit 60. That stood as the major league season home run record until Roger Maris of the Yankees hit 61 in 1961. In 1923, the Yankees opened a new ballpark called Yankee Stadium, but fans soon began calling Yankee Stadium the house that Ruth built to honor their hero. As a Yankee, Ruth played in seven World Series with the Yankees winning four of them. Ruth retired from baseball in 1935 Over the course of his 22-year Major League career, he played in 2,503 games and had a lifetime batting average of .342. He hit a total of 714 home runs, drove in 2,213 runs, and scored 2,174 times. In 1936, Ruth was one of the first five players elected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame. He died in 1948. So that was our story about Babe Ruth. I hope you learned something you didn't know about Babe Ruth, although I doubt it if you're baseball fans, because all baseball fans know everything about Babe Ruth, I guess. Anyway, I hope you learned something, but now is the time to focus on some key vocabulary we're going to learn from this listening. But before I do that, let me remind you that you can find a link in the description of the episode that will take you to our website, englishpluspodcast.com. There you will find... everything you need to practice. For this episode, we have a custom post. In this post, you will find an interactive video, interactive activities, and a PDF practice worksheet you can download and practice on your own. And of course, check your answers in the answer key we provide. Now, if you're here to just enjoy the listening, you're more than welcome. We're honored that you picked our website. But if you want to take your English a step further, you want to take it to the next level, take the link, and practice the things you're learning so that you don't forget them soon. And if you like the content we're creating and you want to support us, there's also a link that can take you to our Patreon page where you can support English Plus Podcasts by becoming a patron of the show. Now, with that being said, let's move back and talk about the key vocabulary we had in this listening about the legendary Babe Ruth. 
Now, here we said decades. When we talked about he set home run records that lasted for decades. When we say decade, what do we mean? A decade is a period of 10 years, especially one that begins with a year ending in zero. For example, we say 1980 to 1989 is a decade. So we say the 80s, the 90s, these are decades. But of course, a decade is essentially just 10 years. So that is the first word. And then we said something about Ruth that he overcame a troubled childhood. What is the meaning of overcome? If you overcome a problem or a feeling, you successfully deal with it and control it. And that's what happened with Ruth because he later became very successful. He was not affected by his troubled childhood. Now, what is the meaning of troubled? A troubled place, situation, organization, or time has many problems or conflicts. So he did not have the best childhood ever. He had a lot of problems. His childhood was troubled, but he overcame that troubled childhood. And then we said the young Ruth fell in with a rough crowd. Now, when we talk about rough, you say that people or their actions are rough when they use too much force and not enough care or gentleness. And then we talked about the time when he was sent to live in an orphanage. Now, what is an orphanage? An orphanage is a place where orphans live and are looked after. And orphans are people who lost their parents. So he was sent to live in an orphanage and reform school. What is the meaning of reform? When someone reforms or when something reforms them, they stop doing things that society does not approve of, such as breaking the law or drinking too much alcohol. Now, that was obviously a school. It's not like a prison. And then we talked about Jack Dunn, who took the young ball player under his wing. Now, what is the meaning of this expression? He took Babe Ruth under his wing. Actually, at this time, he was not called Babe Ruth yet. He was called Babe Ruth after that. Now, if you take someone under your wing, you look after them, help them, and protect them. Now, it's very nice to think about this word wing and the expressions you can use. We can say, take somebody under your wing, and we talked about what that means. And if you say that something or someone clips your wings, you mean that they restrict your freedom to do what you want. So you can take somebody under your wing, which is a good thing, and you can clip somebody's wing, which is a very bad thing. Or you can say spread your wings. If you spread your wings, you do something new and rather difficult or move to a new place because you feel more confident in your abilities than you used to and you want to gain wider experience. So that was about wing. And here in the text, of course, we have the expression, take somebody under your wing. And then we talked about this expression. It's a special term for baseball, it, the at-bat. Now we said here, Babe hit a home run in his first professional at-bat. What is the at-bat? In baseball, an at-bat is a turn at hitting the ball. So his very first at-bat, he hit a home run. What a debut, what a start. And actually that is our very next word, debut. We said here Baltimore sold Ruth's contract to the Boston Red Sox and he made his major league debut in 1940. What is a debut? Now, the debut of a performer or sports player is their first public performance, appearance, or recording. Now, obviously for Babe Ruth here, his first performance, public performance in front of the fans. And then we talked about when Ruth retired. And here we said Ruth retired from baseball in 1935. Now, when a sports player retires from their sport, they stop playing in competitions. When they retire from a race or a match, they stop competing in it. Now, in this case, obviously, he stopped playing in competitions. Maybe he played on his own with his friends, but not in professional competitions anymore. So that's the meaning of retired here. And finally, we said that Ruth was one of the first five players elected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame. What is the meaning of elected? Now, when you elect someone, you choose this person from a group of candidates. And usually it's not one person who chooses. Usually it's by popular vote. So he was elected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Now, with this word, that'll be everything I wanted to share with you about Babe Ruth. I hope you like the information we shared about Babe Ruth and the words that followed. Don't forget that you can practice the things you've learned, both the comprehension part of the listening, the listening practice, and the vocabulary. If you take the link, we will leave in the description and go to our website, englishpluspodcast.com. You will find everything you need, interactive activities, PDF practice worksheets, whatever it takes to take your English to the next level. With that being said, I want to thank you very much for listening to another episode from English Plus Podcast. This is your host, Danny. I will see you next time.